Hey guys, it's Janice. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you five useful Chrome extensions to help you be more productive. Thanks again to Squarespace for working with me on this video. I'll be talking more about them at the end. So the first Chrome extension is Momentum Dash. Momentum replaces your Chrome dashboard every time you open a new tab. You can personalize your dashboard by setting goals and reminders for yourself. Aside from daily pictures and inspirational quotes, this extension also gives you the ability to track your to-do list by giving you a space where you can write down your tasks and once you're done, you can check them off. So every time you open a new tab, you will have all of your responsibilities staring right back at you. You can also track the weather forecast if you just enter your location in the upper right corner. On the upper left hand side, you also have the ability to set links that basically work as bookmarks. Overall, this is a really great extension for helping you stay focused and productive, and it's also very aesthetically pleasing. The next extension is called Duelist. If you don't have two monitors, but you find yourself having to switch between pages pretty often, or you want to split your browsers, but you find that doing it manually can be very frustrating, then this extension can fix that problem with just two clicks. It gives you several ratios to choose from, and the example that I'm showing here is the 50-50 one. A really great solution for those who only work on one screen. Now you can read an article and type notes at the same time. If you're someone who reads really quickly and you often skip through important lines of information, or you get eye strain from reading, then this extension called Visor might be a good solution for you. Visor is a reading aid and screen dimmer that also gives you the ability to set how many lines you want to be able to read at once. As a result, you can focus more clearly on what you're reading. This may also be helpful for those who have visual sensitivities. I would also recommend this for reading at night just to reduce eye strain. Another great extension is alpha text. If you've ever come across a web page where the text is very hard to read because of the size and style of the font, this extension can help you change that with just a few clicks. You can change the font of the content and you can also make it bigger or smaller depending on your preferences. Another great feature is for you to be able to change the background color and the text color. So again, this could come in very handy, especially if you're reading at night. The last extension here is called Mercury Reader. Sometimes when I'm reading something on a web page, I get very distracted by all the links, pictures, and colors that are displayed on the same page. And I find that these things can really distract me from what I'm reading. When you activate Mercury Reader, the page instantly declutters, leaving you only the important text. This is a really simple and easy tool to help you focus more attention onto the content that you're actually reading. And you can avoid the scenario in which you start clicking on links that bring you to other irrelevant web pages. Like alpha text, Mercury Reader also gives you the option to change the text font and size. The options are more limited compared to alpha text. You can also toggle on a dark mode for the page. So that's it for the Chrome extensions in this video. Now I might get some questions asking where I got my wallpaper with the word definition on it. I actually made this myself and thanks to Squarespace's simple design, you can easily find it on my website, janestudies.com under downloads. I've talked about Squarespace a lot in my previous videos, but I genuinely enjoy using this web design platform to make my templates and whatnot accessible to you guys. It was really easy for me to put together this entire thing with minimal experience in coding. So I'm really happy I went with them to build my web platform. They provide analytics for you to track activity on your website, and they also have a great support network for their users. If you'd like to get 10% off your first purchase of a domain or website, then head to squarespace.com slash Studies. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys found it useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, hit the subscribe button, and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. I'll see you guys next time.